Hey, what's up guys? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Stephanie. I'm a 30 year old stay at home homeschooling mom to my two boys who are six and three. And I'm currently just a couple days shy of entering my third trimester with baby number three, who just happens to be a baby girl. And that being said, I'm gonna jump right into this. I've done this in the past. I think a couple names may have changed, may have been added. It might be a little bit repetitive from the last time I did this video with the last time I was pregnant, which was about four years ago now. But I'm gonna be sharing 10 girl names that we love but will not be using. And the reason that they won't be being used is because this is more than likely, we're like 98% sure that this is our last baby that we're gonna be having. Um, and we, she already has a name that is being kept under wraps until the day she is born. So I'm just gonna share the 10 other girl names that I had on a list and love very much, but we won't be using. I will preface that the names that I like for girls are typically kind of like more old fashioned and unisex typically for girls. So I'll just preface that. To start, I'll give away the name that was almost this baby girl's name. This was second tier. Actually would have been her name potentially if my husband didn't pick out the name himself that she will be named when she's born. Kind of on a whim and we fell in love with it, but that name is Maple. So my husband's very woodsy, born and raised in the Poconos. <laughs> so we have a few woodsy names, more specifically for boys, but I actually really liked the name Mabel, which was one of the names that I had suggested to him my last pregnancy before we knew what we were having. He was not a huge fan. He kind of just changed a letter and said, hey, what about Maple? Like, that's cute, like I could handle that. And I'm like, wow, like I kind of love that. It's very like earthy and organic, kind of like very just unique name. So that, that would have been her name. She would have been Baby Maple. She will not be, but that is one name that we really liked and are not using. The next name is Cordelia. I think it's really cute. I like Cordelia specifically. It came from American Horror Story Coven, and I really like the name. I also like that it could be shortened to Delia, which I think is really pretty and just kind of like old timey as well, as well as I really do like boy names for girl names. So Corey, I thought would be really cute as a shortening of Cordelia. Next name I love is Lorraine, and it would be spelled just as you see it on the screen. The reason I love Lorraine is it just sounds very timeless. I also really liked this way of spelling it in particular. My husband's name is Raymond, Ray, and I thought it would be really cute that her nickname could be Ray, and they could share that, or she could be Lo, which I always think of the hills. <laughs> Lo as a nickname I thought was really cute. Or even Rain would be cute as well as a shortening of it, very pretty, very timeless. And yeah, just know that I love. So another name is Loretta. Again, same shortening of the name, Lo, I thought it was really cute. Also Etta, again, a very like old time name, Etta James. Um, I thought it'd be really cute as well for a shortening if you wanted to, very pretty, love it. Next name is Priscilla, Priscilla Presley. That's where it came from, to my knowledge, from what I knew of it, when I first ever heard it. Just think it's very, very pretty. I like something about P as well. That's the only P name I have on my list as I'm looking at, but it's something about P as a girl's first name, being able just to call her P, I think is really cute. You're gonna start hearing my kids running around. <laughs> also thought Pre was really cute as well. So Priscilla was a name I really liked. My husband was completely against this name. Uh, my mother-in-law loved this name, <laughs> but will not be using it, love it. So another name I really love is Ophelia. Uh, the only nickname I can really think of Ophelia is Ophie, and I cannot think for the life of me of what the show or the movie was where there was a little girl named Ophie, but I thought it was so adorable as a nickname. And I love that you could shorten it to something like Ophie when she's little, and then it still seems to be respectable and mature and professional sounding as she's older as just Ophelia in general. Um, I'm not really sure what else you could do to shorten that name, but I just think it's very pretty. Next name on my list of girls is Drew. Uh, Drew Barrymore, pretty much where that came from. Again, it's just one of those names that I really love for a girl versus a name for a boy. I just think it's, I like that it's just short, sweet, to the point. Drew, I think, is just pretty. And I'm actually unsure of how I would like to spell it. I might even have just preferred it to be like D-R-U um, with like an accent on it to like accentuate that it sounds like a long U. I don't know. Not that we're using it, but Drew, love it. I have two more names on the list. My <laughs> creatures are <laughs> coming up here. 
But another one I like is Nora. I think of Nora Jones. Again, I just think it's very pretty. Not quite sure how you could shorten Nora. It's already a short name, so like two syllables, but I'm sure you could probably shorten it into one syllable somehow. Maybe, I don't know. Definitely not one of my top favorites, but it was, it made the list of names that I could have gone with. And the last name I love, but will not be using for a baby girl <laughs> is Juniper absolutely obsessed with this name. This name seems to definitely be coming around again as becoming very popular. I don't remember exactly, I could look it up. What year was the name Juniper popular? Okay, so Juniper only really became common in around 2011. Why do I feel like that was such an old fashioned name? Wow, I'm definitely off with that. Well, it's not old fashioned, but it sounds timeless. <laughs> it just sounds like an older name, I don't know, but I love June or like June bug, like Junie. I think those shortenings for Juniper is very cute. And I think that it's just a very pretty name. So that's it. That's 10 names for girls. Feel free to use them uh, that I really love, but unfortunately will not be using. I am very pleased with the name that we chose though. Let me know what some of your favorite girl names are in the comments below. What are your daughter's names that you have now? When did you have them? Were the names popular then? And are you pregnant? What are you naming this baby? I hope you're all enjoying your day, night, afternoon, whatever time it is, wherever you are, and I'll see you guys soon in my next one. Bye.